All right. So, the best way to start this off, first question, who are you and where are you from? Um, so I'm Kang Apollo, or people know me by Goldie. Taste the Goldie, Goldie Lagasse. Um, I'm from Winston, say the North Carolina, Trey Folk. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, you, this next question for you is a little different because, I mean, you was like here at the start of it. But the question is, when did you first hear about Dream Team? Um, I, so I first heard about Dream Team through Sauce. Sauce, um, Sauce was rapping in high school, but I was a, see, he was a sophomore when I was a senior. And my homie Al knew him too. And he heard our rap, so he was like, hey, bro, I'll check it down with him. So that's how I, how I met you through him. That's when we was uh, YBWA, who was still Dream Team, but it was YBWA. Yeah, then that's was YBWA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's before we was officially Dream Team. Yep. That's the the origin. You feel me? Facts. All right. So you kind of just answered this question in that one, but third question: How did you become Dream Team? Do Sauce. Like I said, I met Sauce. <clears throat> I knew Sauce since high school. We played football, and him and I all knew each other. And it linked me up with you. Came to the studio one day, and that's how the rest was history. Yeah, that's really how it happened. That's really how it happened. We just started recording, and uh, mm -hmm. yeah, it really that was it. That was back when I was afraid to curse, and I wasn't fully expressing myself. Yeah, <laughs> the good old days. Yep. All right, now we're gonna get into the good questions. Not that those weren't good, but <laughs> I got you. How was your well? How was the experience working on the first Dream Team album? Um, it was actually a great to work. You know, with other people. Well, I've always worked with other people, but working with everybody else that's in the group, seeing how they turn up. Like, honestly, it pushed me. When it came to making this album, like, it really pushed me to step outside of my box, so um, step up with wordplay, flows, and all that. So yeah. it was it was a great experience. Uh, that's a fact. Uh, the team environment just well, we always knew that though. Like just working in with a team around other artists that you know you consider dope or find dope, it, it just helps build you. So I already yeah. knew when we started that the turnout would be good but it's kind of uh dope to actually see it turn out how i thought it would you know right um next question how would you explain what it's like to be a part of dream team um it's a first of all we family we're not just rappers who just a group with family first so it's a family environment so like <clears throat> when we talk about the real stuff we joke have fun and we all just grow from each other yeah. like the great is it's great experience like i said you know like even watching a little jay and exotics and jay too icon yeah. like all of them just around like to watch them grow See how it was years ago to watch them, yeah, get to where they at now. Like it just, bro, it's a great thing, and they yeah. pushed me. Like I'm, I'm one of the oldest in the group, so like it pushed me to like them youngins, boy. They, they, they can get you run for your money. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. And the 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 crazy thing about your answer is like when I put this all together, you really see like it's how people is gonna know it's like genuine and legit. Cause niggas be having similar answers, bro. Like me and Lil J literally was talking about how it's just like, it's more than just like, it's not just like a rap group. It's like, no, like we really, 
like talk about life and and we really look out for each other and help each other out if niggas need it like outside of music it don't have to do nothing with music like we really like ride for each other like right. you know like you can remove the music and like we still cool like i still yep. talk to you i still talk to y'all whether it's about music or not you know what i mean yep. so like that's what I, like people on the outside probably don't understand like how deep it run like we talk to each other whether it's about music or not like we really right. we really like cool with each other like it's not just for real. some music shit you know what i mean like so. have these but half everybody like besides you know the the low everybody that's local we've never seen each other in person but it's like genuine love exactly like we've known each other forever like the people that's local like the people that's together like me you well shaq was but you know he gone out but like like we like niggas don't know like nigga we really kick it like vacations together all type of shit you know yep. what i mean it's not just like yep. rap and like once everybody get together it's gonna be like that with all of us you know what i mean only reason it nah, isn't nope. like that with all of us now because everybody live in different places but once we could kind of kind of like centrally locate everybody to where everybody is not too far away from each other it's gonna be crazy nah it's gonna be stupid we're gonna look stupid it's gonna be crazy all right so next question what would you say was the best part of working on this team album? Um, just seeing what everybody brought to the table. Like I already knew, like some people could bring stuff stuff to the table. But like I said, like seeing people step out and do stuff on their own. Like, like I heard had heard Lil J before, but here, like in here, well. Can't even tell you the name of the song. I'm about to tell you the name. No, 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 no. You can tell them the name of the song. I mean, okay. this is going to be dropping right before the album drops. So by the time they're watching this, literally a few hours, like the, the, the night after they watch this, the album uh, is coming out. So you, right, could, you, could, you can say whatever you want. It's not going to ruin anything because they're not going to see this yeah. until literally right before the album drops. So it's good. Yeah. You can say whatever you All want. Right. So, <laughs> so when I heard, like, I, guess I heard Lil J before, but then when he did in here, I was like, nah, like, bro really got it. Like, everybody else, like, Shaq, like Shaq he already had, he had been growing a little bit because he was around nuts. But he stepped up, Lil J, and then Jay. Like, Jay brought his A game. Not saying he never do, he always brings his A game, but Jay really stepped outside his box. Yeah. Yeah. I, I agree with that. Like, just seeing everybody kind of work in their own, like, area, but be able to incorporate the rest of, you know, the, the group. It's kind of, yeah. it, it was dope. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like going into it, like, the common denominator was, like, me. You know what I mean? Like, everyone, right. everyone has worked with me. But, but prior to this album, everyone had not worked with everyone. Right. So that's another thing people don't got to understand. This was like the first time everyone, well, minus the people that that wasn't as active. You know what I mean? Like we got some people in Dream Team that's not on the album, and that's because of personal right. reasons. But when we double back, we gonna get everybody. But as far as like everybody that's on the album, this was the first time that a lot of people got to work with each other. Like. Uh, yep. Uh, Lil J working with RD or J working with RD or you working with RD or you and Lil J on the song with me even though I've worked with you I've worked with Lil J but I didn't work with y'all together so it's like it's right. coll it's collabs on here that like this the first time that we ever collab together in like in, in certain scenarios and certain people that's paired together this is the first song they ever made together you know Not what I mean definitely. And for it to turn out the way it did, it is a, it is crazy, bro. People don't understand. Like, for you to strike like gold on a, your first time collabing with somebody, like you don't know mm -hmm. what the chemistry is like. It's just amazing, bro. Energy, like all the energies matched well. Yeah. Like on every song, like it wasn't no song. You be like, nah, I don't think Brush should have been that. You be like, you know what? Hey, bro, like. Each person made the song better. Like if you take that one person off the song, 
it may not sound the same. Yeah. So everybody may like they like I said the energies between each other, never having to work together, working for the first time was just amazing, bro. Yeah, and like everybody kinda like understands everyone's sound. So like when 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 we making a song, we be like, Ooh, I can hear Goldie on this or I can hear Lil J on this or I can hear mm-hmm. and that's what another thing that make it dope cause like everybody kinda knows everybody's style. So like yep. we we know where to place people like oh yeah this is perfect for you you know what I mean like that's another thing that made it dope. Uh, next right. question, what's your favorite song on the album? My favorite song. It's tough because it's, it's a lot. I named three. Uh yeah you can name three go ahead. It, all this all this is gonna do is is make people want to go listen to whatever you name <laughs> okay all right all right all right all right it's tough cause, so in here in here okay um let us pray okay and i'm gonna have to throw one with me on there i know which one you're gonna say groovy girl Ooh. I wasn't expecting that one. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that one. Groovy a vibe though. Hey, yeah, I was pick. gonna say cornbread fed, but that's what I thought you was gonna say. I ain't gonna lie. I, that's what I was gonna say. But a groovy, my verse, like everybody verses was dope. But my verse, I stepped into a whole different lane. So that's why I feel like it's because it's not something I usually do. Like cornbread fed, that's me. Everybody know that's me. That's my yeah. style, my sound. But groovy, that's a whole different me. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, that's crazy. I like that question because, like, I feel like we're going to get a lot of different answers. Because uh, Lil J, Lil J, he said his favorite song is High Level. Like, he just liked that song. Uh-huh. And uh, I get it. Like, when, whatever song people name, I completely get it. Like, right. like to me, I, I don't know. I can't even, like, pick a song. Like, mm-hmm. I don't know. Like, if I had to pick, I don't know, bro. Like high level is up there, but that's that's just because it just be stuck in my head. But if I sit down, yeah, you and should like, be stuck in my head too. Yeah, if I sit down and just listen to like the album, it's like I catch myself. I listen to a song, I'm like, damn, that song crazy. And then another song play, I'm like, damn, this one crazy too. And it's just like it keep happening, so it's like it's kind of hard. Right. Uh, next question: Who's the most slept on Dream Team artist? In your opinion, slept on. Mm-hmm. Who's the most slept on? I'm going to go my player partner, Icon. Jay the Icon. I feel like he slept on, bro. Mm, I got you. Because, mm. I mean, Lil J and Exotics and RD, all the dope. Like, everybody know that. But I feel like Jay slept on. I can see that. I can see that. I can see that. You want to know who Lil J said? Who? He said you. What? Yeah. He said you the most slept on. He said, Lil J said, man, I ain't going to even tell you what he said, man. It's just going to get, it's just going to give you reason to watch this whole thing. Uh-huh. When it come out, everybody's going to want to watch it. Cause you're going to want to know what everybody else said. That's what makes right. this so dope. Like, not only are like the fans and the people who really rock with us that want to hear the album, not only are they gonna watch this, <clears throat> we gonna watch it too. Not Cause like definitely. only person that's gonna know all the answers is me, but everybody right. else, you gonna watch it to see like what everybody else said. So it's right. dope. But yeah, Lil J definitely said you, and I ain't gonna tell you the reasons why. You just have to wait. But nah, bro, you gotta tell the reason. Nah, why, I ain't gonna tell you because yeah. I, I want you, I want you to watch, I want you to watch it. So I ain't gonna tell you why, but yeah, man, he he feel, he just feel like he just feel like you dope. That's that's all I'm gonna say. But when you watch it, you will actually get he kind of go into detail. But he just feel like you dope and niggas sleep on you. So he he said you, you feel me? So I respect me, I respect. So. Uh, Next question. What do you bring to the table in Dream Team that no one else do? 
first and foremost, you know, I'm the third coast representative. So um just that southern soul flavor, um sometimes witty. Not saying everybody else is witty, but just sound that everybody ain't doing. Like, that's like, a fact. Nah, you spot on with the like you the only like granite like Shaq, Lil J, like they are technically sovereign artists because I mean you know, but yeah. you really got the sovereign sound like it's it's crazy. So that's definitely what you bring to the table. Like you bring literally like your own sound to the table. Like what you do is that shit's special. Like you 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 got a box within Dream Team that you win just by yourself. You know what I mean? Right. So, yeah, definitely. And the last question is what's the number one reason everyone should listen to this album when it drops? Number one reason? Shit. Uh gonna be one of the best albums of the year yeah i i go i i'll jump off the cliff i say it's gonna be one of the best albums ever <laughs> hey say that too i say that too <laughs> i'll jump I off the like, cliff I really, i'm gonna be i'm gonna keep it all the way honest with you bro like everybody in this group is better than anything i really hear nowadays like Lil J. Zodic, J, R, D, and Q God. Everybody don't got their own styles, but nobody else could copy their style. Like they, everybody just got their own style, their own flavor. And when it all meshed together with us, bro, like it's like gumbo, my nigga. It's crazy. It's niggas, niggas never understood the dynamic of dream team and like this is gonna be the first time people get to really understand it because like you you know because you in dream team with it like you know you've been in the chats like the, like the combos that we had remember like you know like everyone don't feel like you know some people feel like uh everyone ain't as good as you know like all that which you know me i never cared about it because i know what y'all all capable of and that's why i'm right. so ready for this to drop because it's like once this drop it sets everybody up like listen y'all can't do this <laughs> you know what i mean like oh, bro. like this came together like really like it, it didn't take we didn't have to force this it really came together like easy like me and Lil J was talking about, like these tracks were coming back and forth fast. Like nah, really, you know, bro. we weren't struggling to get these songs done. These songs were getting done quick, <laughs> and it's just amazing how good the songs are. You know what I mean? So for real, man. So yeah, man. That's definitely why everybody should listen, man. Like you gonna get, you're not gonna get what you expected. You're not. Nah. Whatever, whatever you expecting, you're not getting that. <laughs> At all. You're not and getting that. Was, <clears throat> like you said, to that point, you're not going to get it. Like, even if they listen to, listen to us on regular, just us, like solo music, you're not going to get the same thing. You're not, exactly. You're not even, you're not even getting that. Like, our solo music don't even sound like this. You're not even getting that. Like, that's the nope. crazy part. Like, Lil J... The, the music he makes on his own, you're not getting that on here. You're not even getting that from him on here. The music I make on my own, you're not getting that on here. It's it, it's really crazy. It's crazy because like we all made the music that we normally make, but the dynamic of including other people changed how we would usually execute by ourselves. Yep. You know what I mean? So, mm -hmm. hey man, this is dope. Like. Like I said, man, whatever y'all expecting, you're not getting that. <laughs> I say listen to the listen to the album when you listen to it to over the open mind. Don't like you said, they're gonna expect what you think you're gonna get because you're gonna be totally wrong. 
Yeah, you're gonna like, be if you if you expecting a certain sound or something, you're gonna be. I'm telling you now, you're gonna be disappointed. You're not getting that. Only thing I'm gonna say is expect a dope track. body of work. Yeah, a dope body yeah, of work. Dope, dope album. Dope album. Dope body of work. Like, it's, it's abstract, bro. There is not. It's not. The album don't even have like a dominant sound. It's just like yeah. it's just beating you over the head the whole time. It's just like. It's crazy, bro. Like, I right, no cap, bro. But yeah, man, we got King Apollo. You know, Dream Team's very own. Yeah. You know, Goldy Lagasse, the chef. You know what I mean? Always so, cooking up, cooking up in the stew and in the kitchen. You know what I mean? Literally. literally. <laughs> you feel me? Literally. So yeah, man. Look, man. Dream Team album dropping tonight. If you watching this now. The Dream Team album drops tonight. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, man. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Yes, sir. We done.